What a first day back to school it was, huh? Mm -hmm. Thousands of students headed back to the classroom today. South Carolina's largest school district, Greenville County, returned to class. One highlight this year, a brand new high school, Fountain Inn High, is welcoming its first class of students today. It's the first new school in Greenville County in more than 40 years. And while students did head back to the classroom, state health leaders are urging teachers and students to all wear masks. And this is as the Delta variant continues to spread. I am certain that when history is written, people will look back and wonder at how we were nearing normalcy, then had a dramatic resurgence in this disease given all the tools we had available to prevent what is unfolding right now. In less than two weeks of in-school learning in South Carolina, 141 students and 34 staff were reported with COVID-19. Some are having severe complications. We have more cases in South Carolina in schools in less than two weeks of in-person learning than were found in 13 weeks in the published studies by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Now that is Dr. Bell, the state epidemiologist. She says wearing a mask and social distancing will make a huge difference. South Carolina Superintendent of Education Molly Spearman also addressing the rising concern for students. We listened in on her news conference this morning. She says now is the time to be smart and listen to health leaders. Folks, we're better than this. We're smarter than this. Parents, please listen to your doctors. Let's not go by what we read on social media. Let's do what these folks are asking us to do. Get vaccinated, send your child to school with a mask on, not just for their protection, but for the community of children that they are in the classroom with. We'll of course have continuing coverage of the issue right here on Fox Carolina News.